ESPN app and ESPN2 at triple eight say ESPN 888-729-3776. About an hour ago, give or take a lie or two. We talk about the struggles of Jordan Love, the backup quarterback for the Green Bay Packers in the offense. He threw three interceptions. The guys broke it down saying, hey, you can put two on guys not doing the route or getting the ball taken away from them. The one interception was on him, even though he threw two touchdown passes. We also mentioned playing by Aaron Rodgers. That can't be easy. And, Harry, you mentioned it. Going to work every day knowing that, yep, I'm going to be second for a while. The only way I'm a player is if this guy gets hurt. Yeah, and he, he hasn't been hurt in a He's while. Yeah, if I'll be carrying that clipboard for God knows how many years. Clipboard Charlie. Right. I never heard that before. That's really good. I look at both these quarterbacks, Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers, and people talk about not having a number one wide receiver. If anybody can overcome not having a Tyreek Hill or Devontae Adams, it's those two dudes, in my opinion. Well, you don't have a one till you have a one. And what I mean by that is when you look at the receivers that both of these guys have on their roster right now, there are there is no – Tyreek Hill and you know, Devontae Adams. So when I look at Green Bay's situation, they got a guy that they drafted in the fourth round from Nevada, and I know I kind of know him a little bit, mm-hmm. and um, I know his ability, his size, his ability to go get the football. And then I looked at the game in Romeo Dobbs. I looked at the game the other night against San Francisco, and I said to myself, some of those passes, if that's Aaron Rodgers, that's a different situation. Right. It's a complete ball. It's not incomplete. It's not behind him. It's not slowing him down. It's not on the outside shoulder when it should be on the inside shoulder, or vice versa. So when you got a certain quarterback, certain quarterbacks can make receivers. Receivers can make quarterbacks as well. Sure. And so, you know, I think that Aaron Rodgers has always had receivers less than what people think initially. Devontae Adams didn't come in from Fresno State leaving to Vegas the way he did. He he wasn't that guy. He wasn't the dude. No, he just was a guy. He was a second-round pick that eventually matured into a star. And I think that's the same way when you look at Romeo Dobbs, for instance, with Aaron Rodgers. A couple years with Aaron Rodgers, all of a sudden he moves from where he's at now to becoming somewhat of a star. And whatever it is at at, um, Kansas City, Tyreek Hill wasn't Tyreek Hill initially, Mm -hmm. and then eventually he became Tyreek Hill, and that's usually what happens. Yeah, when you look at a guy like Tyreek Hill, his career started on special teams. Yes. And a lot of coaches, whether you're going out on cover teams, returning, if you can make positive plays on special teams, it gives them a light bulb in their head. You know what? Let me put him on defense more. Let me give him the football more offensively. Yeah. And we've seen what Tyreek Hill was able to do. Uh, Romeo Dobbs, I think he's going to have a tremendous career, man. Um, just watching him, especially how much they tried to feature him as well. And what do you see football. that leads you to believe that? Um, I just, I just the fluidness in his route running, right? Nothing that looks like a struggle okay. when he's running routes, and he's fluid. He catches the ball well. He had a few drops, but that, like, like he said, if it's a guy like Aaron Rodgers, that football is in certain places and it's coming at a at a, at a pace to where you don't have no choice but to really catch it, and that's going to be big. I'm interested to see Christian Watson too come back. So looking at those two young guys, Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs, when I look at this wide receiver core moving forward, are they going to have some growing pains this year? Of course, every rookie does. I don't care what, what rookies tell you. Every rookie has some growing pains. But moving forward, whatever, Keith. <laughs> moving forward, <laughs> moving forward I, I, I think I like this room for the Green Bay Packers, man. And I think you're going to have more guys like you like you have in Kansas City. Like, we look at the, the preseason game. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes hit six different people he on the opening drive. He was bopping all over the place with that ball. And that's what you want. You want to diversify the football so teams can't just say, you know what? Now, don't get me wrong. It's a luxury having a guy like Tyreek Hill. But when you can diversify that football to multiple guys and uh, teams just can't key in on one person, Kelsey going to be Kelsey. Uh, I think it's a, it's a bright spot for your team. And the beauty of it is Aaron Rodgers is a veteran quarterback, mm-hmm. right? He's going to help the young receivers and no put doubt. them in the right position and tell them exactly what it is that he wants them to do. And once they go out there and they execute it and do it, then everybody is, you know, kumbaya. Everybody's happy. It's like, oh, yeah, this is, this is what it is. Because when he looks at certain things on the defense, he's able to dictate and say, I want you to run it this way. Take a high angle. Take a low angle. I'm going to bring you back downhill. Don't go full. Don't go to full 18. Won't you try to push it to 16? Because I need to get it out faster. Just little things like that as a veteran quarterback helps young receivers go a long way. Because I look at Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams leaving their guys, 
and De- at least Devontae Adams landed with Derek Carr mm-hmm. because I don't think Derek Carr's got enough credit for being a really good quarterback in the National Football League. He can League. play. He can play. No, he, he really can play, play. the position. Yeah, he, no, can. he can play the position. I know. Yeah. Right. He can play. But for certain Raiders fans, are like, oh, we can find somebody better. I'm like, really? Well, that's because the way that John Gruden came out at the beginning when he took over as a head coach, he didn't endorse him as mm-hmm. he's going to be here with me forever. He kind of left it. You know, uh, well, you know, and that whole game, you know. Mm-hmm. And so everybody jumped on that and was like, he doesn't like him. He doesn't like him. So then you start looking at it and thinking in your mind, he can't play. It's like, no, man, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. That, that's why I don't think Devontae Adams is going to have a drop-off. No, I agree. He's going to a better offense. No, I'm saying, there's some people out there saying no, I'm that. I'm saying, now. who said like, that? That's silly. He's gonna, the, because he's not playing Aaron Rodgers, that's why. Look at the guys that he's going to be playing with. Hunter Renfro, who, who had over 1,000 yards last year. Darren Waller. Um, the run game, I think, is going to be better with Josh McDaniels calling those plays as well. Now, you, every time he go out there in Green Bay, if a team didn't double cover him, number one, they were stupid defensively. <laughs> but you see teams double, triple team him. Now he could possibly get more one-on-ones with those other guys. He's going to see double coverage too sometimes. But it's going to free things more so up for Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller as well. Right. So they're going to complement one another. But for Aaron Rodgers, I think – Coming into this year, because in the past, we've seen Aaron Rodgers have a quick fuse, right? When guys drop balls, run the wrong routes. I think, what's that little stuff he did to get him right? What, 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 what he just did recently? Oh, that, that drug thing, whatever, whatever that Whatever he just yeah, did. whatever it is. I think that's no. going to allow him to be <laughs> to, more to patient calm him with down, these guys. And to understand chill him. That, you know what? I got to be more on the positive side <laughs> versus giving off this bad body language so these guys can um, make it in this league, man. It, 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 you speaking of bad body language, by the way, Keyshawn Johnson, Harry Douglas, Freddie Coleman, and Keyshawn J. Will Max on ESPN Radio. When you're Tyree Kill and you're used to the ball coming at you a certain way from Patrick Mahomes, and it's not going to look like that from Tua Tungabailoa, I'm glad he got his money. He's earned his money. He wanted his money. But Kansas City told everybody who was somebody, we still got that Mahomes guy, and we're too, we chose Travis Kelsey over you because we believe that guy. It's hard to find a guy like Kelsey. We found you in the fifth round. We can find other guys to pair with Patrick Mahomes. Tyree Kill, for the first time, think about his NFL career, He's going to be that dude where everybody's going to say, you got to make plays. You don't have Kelsey to help you. You don't have Patrick Mahomes. You got to go out there and do it. That's as great as he can be. That's asking a lot out of Tyree Hill. I mean, Jalen Waddle's terrific. Mike You think he's going to be fine? I, I, gonna I be think fine? he's going to be fine. But his, well, is the quarterback going right to be here. fine? The fact that defenses are scared as hell of, of his speed, um, I, if they get up and press, and press him, number one again, that's, they're stupid. I'm not pressing Tyree Hill. Why the hell would I press Tyree Hill? and the guy weighing 23 miles per hour in a football game with pads on. Why am I doing that? But when you have a Jalen Waddle who can be another one of those star players that can do a lot of different things, like I'm not sleeping on Mike Kosecki. I like Mike Kosecki and Darren Smythe, the backup tight end. Yeah. And the offensive line, Connor Williams, bringing into Ron Armstead, but the run game is what's going to make everything go. The run game is going to be uh, Tua Valoa's best friend, and it has to be. It'll be it. It I put it this way: It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Absolutely, I if, how this if works. Tyreek Hill can do some of the same things that he was able to do in Kansas City with the football in his hand, this is going to be interesting. Because because history shows, typically, when you leave people like Patrick Mahomes to go play somewhere else, your numbers and you don't get the same production that you once had at the receiver position. Sure. Like you just. It just history just shows that it just you know you you look at a guy like Stephon Diggs that leaves Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings, but where did he go? He went to Josh Allen, right, in mm-hmm. the Buffalo Bills. Mm-hmm. He didn't go to some what we're trying to figure out, right? Who the quarterback is, right? We're still trying to figure out who Tua is. He went to Josh Allen that people pretty much said, okay, we give him him, he's gonna be a different guy. And, and they both work. And they both are different <laughs> I think guys. The scramble now. plays is where it's going to come up, though, man. Because Patrick Mahomes, the off scripted play, yeah. scrambling to the left, scrambling to the right, can throw it 50, 60 still, you know, throw it with his left hand, just make these remarkable plays. I, I don't see that part from Tua that I'm going to have to, he's going to have to show me that. And when you look at Devontae Adams, he leaves Aaron Rodgers and goes to Carr. Mm-hmm. He didn't leave Aaron Rodgers and go. Mess Zach around Wilson. with like Zach Wilson or or Geno Smith or something. Right. This is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? No, he's laughing because he's thinking about what that would look like if he were going to both of those guys, right? Yeah. 
He that's didn't why, leave. He didn't leave. <laughs> that's why he's no, laughing. No, he didn't leave him and go to Marcus Mariota. He left him and went <laughs> right. to a quarterback sure. that could play the position. Yeah, that's why he was laughing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know why Harry was laughing. But when you leave Patrick Mahomes and you go to Tua, yeah. that people are still have reservations on, mm-hmm. they tried to replace him twice now. Okay, since he's been there. Right. First it was the Brady, then it became Deshaun. Let's see if we. That's all I'm saying. You know, and then they bring in Teddy Bridgewater. So just in case. Just in case. Let's get this insurance policy. That's well, all I'm just saying. Just in case two are not the guy for us. Two is like Charlie Brown in the old comic strips where, <laughs> where he keeps going to kick the football. They keep moving the football away from him. He tries to get a chance to play with the Miami Dolphins. He just can't. And I, find and I hope it like works like out for Tua. So do uh, I. Because he, he's one of the nicest human beings, man, like I'm with out you. there in the game, too. Uh, especially for his career, man. I just, I just hope it could work you out. Always, you always want it to work out for people, yeah. but you got to also be realistic, no, too. Yeah, yeah. You and, know? You know, Tua trying to be realistic, trying to do some things, and we'll see if that's going to work out. Now he's got Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and all those people down in Miami. It's Keyshawn, Jalen, and Max on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, and ESPN2 with Keyshawn Johnson, Harry Douglas, and Freddie Coleman. When or oh, when will Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens get Hot together when it comes to money? That's after this from Sports Center.